Hi everyone, today we are going to solve the lead code question unit pass 2. So you are given m by n integer array grid. Now there is a robot initially located at the top left uh, corner, 0, 0. The robot tries to move to bottom right uh, corner, m minus 1 and n minus 1. The robot can only move either down or right at any point in time. And the obstacle and the space are marked as 1 or 0 respectively in grid. A pass that the robot takes uh, cannot include any square that is an uh, obstacle. Return the number of possible unique passes that the robot can take to reach the bottom right corner. So let's see the example. So you are given this input array, and the robot is now 0, zero and the obstacle is here. So the pass the robot can take should be this pass and uh, this pass, right? Because uh, there is an obstacle here. So that's why in this case we should return 2. Okay, so let me explain with this example. So I copy this to the array from example 1. So to solve this question, I use a dynamic programming and uh, so dp and uh, initialized with, uh, with all 0 and uh, dp, uh, dp length should be, uh, should be number of columns. So in this case 3, so 1, 2, 3. And uh, I already update first position with 1. So this position is uh, so 0, 0. So uh, this, uh, DP repre uh, this DP list represents the first row at first. And uh, so that means, so this position is 0, 0 position, and uh, this position is 0, 1 position, and uh, this position is 0, 2 position. And uh, I already update the first position with 1 because so what if uh, this position is already 1? So in that case, uh, there is an obstacle here. So this robot cannot move anywhere. So in that case, we should return 0 immediately, right? But uh, um, so now uh, 0 means the normal pass. So uh, robot definitely can reach this position. So that's why um, uh, we update um, first position with 1. And uh, we iterate through like uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, check 0, 0 place. So every time we check uh, this condition. So if current uh, value is 1, so now 0, right? So I'll explain uh, this later. And uh, so false, so we go else. Also be careful, this is not else if, just else. And uh, this if is inside of else. So be careful. So column number is greater than 0. So now 0, right? So uh, this is false. So I'll explain later this calculation. And then, so move next. So now 0, 1. So current value is still 0. So this is false. And uh, now current column is greater than 0. So 1. So this is 2, right? In that case, um, current dp position, so now column is 1, so here. So we update this number with c minus 1, so this one. That's because um, this robot can move uh, right or down, right? So now this dp represents, so we have one way to reach this position. So that's why uh, um, we have only one way to reach this position, right? So here. So there's no uh, top position. So that's why there's only one way to reach uh, to uh, reach this position. So that's why update um, with C minus one. So this one, the one, and then move next. So now we check this position. So zero two. So 0 to value of 0 to is not 1, so we don't have to care about this condition. And we go else case. So now column is greater than 0. In that case, update current dpc column here with um, previous value 1. So yeah, now so from here, so there is a one way to reach this position, right? And the uh, robot can move right or down. Yeah, it's obvious. Um, there's only one way, this pass, to get to uh, 0, 02 position, right? So that's why update um, this 0, 02 position, so 2 position with previous value, so now 1. 
So yeah, we finish uh, iterating at first row, and uh, in the end we get uh, like a all one. Yeah, uh, it's obvious. So as I explained earlier, so this robot can move down or right, right? So uh, first position is definitely one, and uh, this position is yeah definitely one because uh, uh, there is no top side, and uh, yeah, uh, there are two also uh, obviously one because uh, there is no top position. So this this is only way to get to reach zero two position. So that's why uh, one is uh, definitely true. And then so we finish uh, iteration in the first row. And then next, so we iterate through um, uh, one row one. I mean second. Uh, row so and uh, we use this tp list so that's because from uh, second row so there is a like a top position right so yeah uh, i say many times but uh, uh this robot can move right or down right so so there is a possibility that um, the robot move like this pass right so that's why we have to care about uh, like a, a top position. And uh, when we iterate through uh, second row, so we use this uh, result. So this is a result of first row, right? So that's why when we iterate through second row, this um, DP list is result of top. So we actually, we already finished calculating the top from top position. So that's why we only care about uh, only uh, right move, right? So now, so a little bit messy, we check uh, uh, zero one. So zero one is zero, right? So we don't have to care about uh, this condition. And then else, so C is zero, so we don't have to care about uh, this condition. And then move next. So now obstacle, we have obstacle. So current position is one. In that case, uh, just to update uh, current C e, uh, with zero. So that means we cannot move this position because there is an obstacle. So that's why we should update current place with zero. And then move next. So we check zero two, uh, no, one two. And uh, current place is not one. So false, and we go else case, and the current column is greater than zero, so that's true. In the case, update dp column, so now here, with previous value, zero, so that's why uh, still one, right? So um, we finish uh, iterating um, in the second row, so let's check, so zero one, so here, zero one, is only one way to get to zero one. So I think uh, this one, right? And uh, here there is an obstacle, so that's why uh, there is no way to get to uh, one two. So that's why zero. And uh, so let's check one two. So there is only one way. So um, from uh, from uh, on the left side, so there is an obstacle. So this pass. So there is no way like a this pass. And then, so, but uh, the robot can move down, right? So that's why I think uh, there is uh, this way. So that's why uh, uh, there is only one way to get to one, two. So it looks good. So let's move down the uh, third row. So we use a one, zero, one result from like a top, uh, top row. Uh, so, so that's why, as I explained earlier, so we only care about uh, only move right like this. So let's check. Um, we check the uh, zero two. So zero two is not one, and the uh, number of column is now zero. So we don't have to care about uh, this. So, and then um, move next. So uh, two one position. So uh, this value is one, and uh, so now column number of column is greater than uh, zero. In that case, update this position with previous value. 
so on. And then move next. So check uh, value, so zero. So this is a false, and then uh, go to else case. And the uh, current number of gram is greater than zero. In that case, update current value now here with previous value, C minus one, so one plus one. So one plus one should be two, right? And then finish. So we finish all phrase. So all we have to do is just return the last value, in this case two. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, if not, so let me copy this, obstacle grid or grid zero, zero position equal obstacle. In that case, we should return zero immediately. So if not the case, first of all, calculate the length of rows and the columns. So rows and the columns equal length of obstacle and the length of obstacle and zero. And I create a DP and the initialize to be all zero, multiply columns. And then as I explained earlier, so update first place with one, right? And then um, start iterating. So for row, uh, for row in range and uh, rows. And uh, for column in range and uh, calls. So first of all, if obstacle grid and uh, row and column equal one, in that case, we cannot move that position, so that's why update dp and the current column equal zero. And else, if column, current column is greater than zero, in that case, update dp column plus equal dp and the previous value, so c minus one. Yeah, actually that's it. After that, just return dp and the uh, number of grams minus one. Yeah, let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the very efficient algorithm, beta 93%. So time complexity of this solution should be order of rows multiply grams because we visit each place one by one. And the space complexity is order of columns. So because uh, we create a, a DP list and the length is um, columns, right? So that's why. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.